Okay, so um, you guys get to see the first part of what I'm doing. And so there's gonna be bits and pieces, like you're gonna be like, what is she doing? <laughs> so I thought I would explain it to you and then kind of fast forward through some of it so you can see it being done. But one of the things that they recommend is that when you begin to work with your transfers, before you remove them off of the transfer sheet, that you go on the back <laughs> and actually write what it is, especially if it's something that has, um, for example, like this, so that you know kind of where things would go uh, when you go to put them back on. So, because putting them back on is part of what keeps them um, working long, <laughs> as long as they should work, I should say. So, all right, anyway, I'm going to, I'm gonna work on, on that part. So, here we go. Okay, so I've cut the pieces, at least impartially, and um, I've got a couple of them that I have cut. So, let me just show you a few things that I'm using because I haven't invested a lot yet. Um, I just got their starter kit and I do have a, a special order coming in later. But one of the things we want to have is a, a de-sticking towel. This is a Microsoft, Microsoft fiber cloth, so I've got that. I've got what's called a water bath. And then I've got a popsicle stick that I'm using for stirring my chalk for the first time. A little eraser that I can use to clean the transfer. Um, and yeah. So one thing I want to tell you when you I was putting these on here, I've got an arrow so that I know that the top of this goes to the top of the actual transfer. And you know, when you start getting into cutting this, you want it to be able to fit just like it goes on there because that is what keeps your transfer sticky and usable for future use. Now, here's the difficult thing. Um, I've never pulled one of these up, but I have watched the training videos. So again, this is my first time. So um, one of the things that they tell you is to pull from the side or the top, but not a corner, because on the corner you can actually cause um, stretching of your transfer and you don't want to have that, which for sure you do not want to have that. So, okay, I've actually successfully gotten it started on the side. So I'm going to pull it up and then I'm gonna take it over to my micro, uh, micro, microfiber, <laughs> I cannot say that today. And I'm just gonna put it on there. And so it's super sticky so that you can actually do screen printing on fabric and shirts and things like that where you can't afford for it to move. And so, um, but when you're working on surfaces like this chalk piece, um, this chalkable little chip, which again, I love. I don't know if I said, this little round is adorable. They use it for quick make and take so anybody can see how, how easy it is to do. But I see it as coasters, I see it as ornaments, I even see it as all kinds of things. So anyway, okay, I've taken the sticky off of it. I'm gonna grab my lovely little transfer and I'm just, personally, I'm just gonna visually uh, uh, center it. And then I'm going to smooth out and make sure there's no bubbles. Now this happens to be a ready to go chalkable sur surface, but there are other things that I'm discovering need to happen. Like some cases they need to have a wax put underneath it so it will adhere. But you guys are gonna learn with me as I go. Okay, my fabulous little transfer is on my little thing. And then I'm gonna use a white paste. And uh, they say when you open it up that you wanna make sure, I'm not even sure, um, I haven't opened it yet, but I am going to take a little stir stick and I'm just going to stir this up. And they did say that you could um, add water to it. And to be honest, it kind of looks like it could use a little bit of water. So, not that I've used it before, but um, you know, I'm just guessing based upon the texture I've seen in the lovely videos. And I could be wrong, but I'm not gonna use a whole lot. So, squeegee. And I'm gonna take my lovely little squeegee. The one thing I do know, and which is super cool, is that a little bit goes a long way. So that's really not a lot. So let's see if I'm correct. 
in my assumption of this. And you literally just take your squeegee and you run it over your lovely little transfer. And what you're doing is filling in the spots of the reverse transfer. So in other words, the spots that don't have green are actually the images and stuff that you're using. And we'll get in and talk a little bit more about even beyond stuff beyond that. Okay, so here's a cool thing. So I'm, again, this is just me from watching videos. I've taken all the excess because, hey, guess what? I'm a seriously frugal girl and I want this to go as long as it possibly can. All right, so you ready? I'm going to come in, tickle this again. This is the hard part for me. Coming in from the side, pulling from the side, not the corner. You ready? Okay, here we go. Okay, definitely I could do better. Okay, so probably what I think is that I definitely need it to be a lot more moist, I guess is the way to put it. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our Embrace the Crazy and we are going to put it in, I believe it is, wow. I'm gonna do sticky side down because you want the sticky side wet so that it doesn't um, do anything. But since I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this really quick, like, because again, this is about us learning together, right? All right, here we go. I'm just gonna take, I just picked up this little, um, like a, a mystery eraser kind of thing. It's not really mystery eraser, but it's kind of similar to that. And I'm using that to clean my transfer and get all the chalk off of it. I do have another transfer that I've already put on a chalkable. And so what I thought we might do is um, take one of the others. Isn't that cute? I'm sorry. Um, so now the interesting thing is, is I'm gonna put that upside down on there. So this aside. And what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna take, okay, I have this one. It says coffee first. <laughs> Wasn't it actually until a few years ago that I was actually into coffee? So I think it's pretty humorous that I actually like coffee now. All right, I'm gonna close that up. Let's try, well, okay, my office is this amazing meadow green. So let's see what this one looks like. Okay, clue number one. My white did not have this on there. So I don't know why, but it didn't. But here we go. All right, we're going to pull this lovely stuff off. Again, frugal woman here. All right, this will go in the trash. And this, oh, see, look at that. That's so much better, like so much better. And then I do know from the video that you wanna get down, there's some creases down in there that you wanna try and get down in those creases as much as possible. Oh yeah, so what I know by looking at this is I know that I need to add water to my white and I need to make it much, much more like this. But they, they did say in the training videos that um, if it needs water, add water. So I mean like it's not like it's not expected. Okay, here we go. Now I'm super excited because I know that this ink is the right ink. Okay, let me, let me just clean this just for a second. Okay, all right, ready? Here we go. Super, super excited. First of all, because I love this color. All right, here we go. And I have a lot of um, what's the word I'm looking for? A lot of space on this one. Oh, this is perfect. I'm actually going to show you something else too that I saw um, because I, I went over the edge of the transfer and I'm not going to want that on there. All right, here we go. Now, the other thing I noticed, and I don't know if this is true, you know, because time lapses can happen, but it appeared to me that the chalk actually dries pretty quickly. So I think that's kind of cool. Okay, are we ready? Because, yes, failure is not an option. Here we go. Again, pulling from the side. Oh my gosh. Okay, this, my friends, is what it's supposed to look like. Except for that. 
Is that adorable or what? Now, I'm actually going to take, I don't know what you're supposed to take, but this is what Cheryl's going to do. I'm going to take my eraser and water, and I'm going to mark, take that off, which I did quite successfully. So, I'm going to let that dry, but again, I think it dries super fast. You see, I, this is why I love this, because I see such potential for these things. I, and I'm... I can't wait to actually make things and sell them. I can't wait to give somebody else who wants an opportunity just to do something simple and and make gifts for family. Like, I, I love to make gifts for my family. So, all right, I'm, again, I'm putting this in sticky side down. The reason, again, I'm gonna remind you, the reason you wanna get the sticky side wet first is because that is the part that is to go down. So I'm gonna dry this and let's see how long, because I don't really know how long, but I'm going to do this super fast. Okay, once that's dry, again, let's try it again. So what am I doing? What I'm doing is drying it, looking for my card that matches the image. And then what you do is you actually turn it upside down like this. Okay, may have to. And then you're taking your backing and you're putting it on upside down like this. All right, and you see how you line up and then back on and ta-da. Not too bad for the first time. I'm okay with that. So anyway, this is Chalk Couture. You've seen my first two. My first one was a failure. My second one, awesome. Love it. And I cannot wait to do more. Thank you for joining me. Also, really quick, like I just want to show you what is cool about the paste. Is the paste that you saw me mess up is wash and clean and use it again. That is amazing.